Hello everyone, today we're going to jump right into the AAP01 gameplay. This is going to be my first impressions of what I think of this build. Uh, this is an indoor field, so it is set to indoor limits. Even though it is a DMR, I still can get it under 350 FPS. So I'm going to show you guys what I can do with this and how it performs on the field. So let's jump right into this video. Right off the bat I was able to one tap that dude from about 15 feet away which isn't that far but what I got from that kill right there was that the trigger is super snappy and I'm able to quick make trigger pulls quickly and smoothly throughout the process of trying to fire the rifle. Bonk. While I was in that last room when I was reloading my mag, I noticed that it wasn't that hard to transition mags even with the HPA tap 30 round mags. It wasn't bad at all. Even though I had unplugged the hose each time, the reload time was not that slow. So even though while I was in this room and I took out two enemy players previously, players were not noticing it. I was still in that room and that my rifle was still silent for the most part and it's being undetected by other enemy players crossing the room which lets me know this rifle even though it's a gas blowback it is still quiet being a lefty right there did not favor me peeking a right cornered doorway and i ended up getting killed pretty easily but that's as expected so moving on to this next respawn which was a little bit later on in the video of the footage I took. Uh, I was able to get some longer distance kills, maybe f 35 range, 35 to 50 foot shots through this walkway. And it panned out pretty well, as you'll see in these next clips. So let's run it. Yo, it's easy. What's up, homie? Is it clear through here? No, you can get over there if you're, if you're quick, but they got guys on the bars back oh, there. Oh, yeah, okay. So that's that thing looks fucking slick! Yeah, I finally got the, the mags tapped. Go! Oh. Oh. I'm covering the door here. Oh, we got a friendly coming in here. One thing I'm not a fan of is that the short stroke kit that is installed is supposed to allow you to lock back the slide when you're out of ammo, but in this case it didn't lock back and I was out of ammo and I did not end up getting a kill because of the slide not locking back and me not knowing that I was out of ammo. As you guys saw with the newly added extended inner barrel, I was able to get shots down range on point and I wasn't having to empty a full mag onto a guy just to get one kill. I was able to double tap each target quite nicely. Hit, hit. Nice shot. That enemy player right there had a really good angle on me and got a really nice shot off. Props to him for that. 
But moving on to this next portion, I really want to show you guys the range on this thing. So here are two kills that were at some good distance. One of the things that I really liked about the bare bones stock AAP01 is the hop up unit. I do like the hop up unit, but I did swap the bucky and inner barrel, which is a nice touch to that hop up unit that I already liked on the AAP01. I honestly don't know if he called that hit right there, but I know I definitely hit him. And that was at a good solid 75 feet, which is pretty cool that this gun still can continue to have good range with HPA and at a lower velocity, well, a lower FPS, which is like 330 I had it down to with the HPA regulator. Uh, but that's pretty much all I have. I do enjoy this rifle and shooting it indoors, but I will have a blast playing with this thing outdoors as a DMR setup. That is the goal with this rifle. If I make any changes in the future, I'll let you guys know, but if you have any questions about this build, definitely let me know down in the comments, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day. Oh, that's the handguard that you can buy for at aftermarket. That's so